prospect shortstop through their system. And that's how it hard and another boot by Seeger. That ball is going to go all the way off the sidewall. Gomez not going to stop. He's on his way home. No throw made. Carlos Gomez is mad dash around the diamond. Oh, nice coaching by Ed Seeger. I mean, you talked to Eddie before the ball game saying that he was going to be very aggressive with the throwing arms in the outfield. Ibanez doesn't throw well. Gomez wasn't even at third base when he had the ball in his glove almost. Gomez never slowing down and able to score another error by the Mariners, number three already, and rolling the fourth inning. That is shocking that he can score Gomez on this ball right here. That's the second error by Seeger. It took the big ricochet and goes all the way off the sidewall. And instead of a double play ball, it's a, a run in, and Saunders thought he was going to be out of the inning there. That ball was hit well. And Bobby Thompson, the acting manager for the Mariners, or want to find out if there was some fan interference down there along the left field line. Now the crew chief here in this situation is Tim Welke. He's the one doing all the talking now. Dan Bellino, the home plate umpire. So if a fan touched the baseball, obviously that changes the way this goes down. You can see what he's saying there. Did he touch it? Did he touch it? And they're going to put him back at third base. I don't know. We'll take a look at it. Ron Renicky wants an explanation now. <laughs> Man, why didn't they? Why didn't they say it right away then? I'm not sure what they were looking at when the play was going on. I mean, Tim Welke is the guy who's out there. He's the third base umpire. I mean, he's right on it. He's close to it. And if somebody touched it, did nobody touch that ball? I don't know how you say he touched it, and you're the guy who makes the call. Uh, he, he, he initially said that he didn't make a call. There was no touching of that baseball. Then they got together, and Corey Blazer and Bruce Dreckman apparently convinced them that a fan touched it, and they got to stay at second base. Yeah, I mean, you got to be sure in a situation like that. That's what Ron Renicky, you figure, is pointing out that. Look, you're the home plate umpire. You've got all this to deal with. You got a runner coming home, and you're going to overrule the third base umpire. And he's and not going to change their mind. I don't and blame. Is hot. I, don't, I don't blame him. I mean, you know, the Brewers have been getting the short end of the stick this entire road trip. Uh, now they're going to throw him out. Yeah, you make a mistake, the umpires, and then you throw the manager out. That's brutal. It's amazing. It's amazing some of the calls these guys are making these days. So the Brewers manager ejected and he is giving it to Dan Bellino. I mean how could Dan Bellino see if there was interference. He's at the at home plate. Tim Welke is right on the play. He didn't see anything. Oh well. I'll tell you what's probably a little more shocking is that the crew chief. Crew chiefs don't normally you know get overruled very often. You know what I'm saying. And he's the guy who is making the call. Just see here. He gets a hand on it. Man, maybe he did. Maybe it's tough to tell the ball. I don't know. It did look like maybe he got a piece of that baseball. But still in all, I mean, was it that obvious that uh, they're going to overturn it? I guess. So Renicky is gone, ejected in the fourth inning. Man, it took what three or four replays for us to see it. How did the umpires see it on normal speed? 